Well, how lucky a car can this be? While we stand basking in the sun, this car gets to enjoy the cool shelter. Well, this shelter made of photovoltaic cells is actually going to help this car draw power from the sun. And the color green here not just symbolizes the paint that it will be available in, but also the fact that it is going to help our country turn green and help Mahindra lead the green economy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, may I now present to you the future of mobility. Now this is the FOM or precisely the future of mobility. Well, for a person like me, I would drive about 15 to 20 kilometers every day. And instead of burning oil under my hood, I can easily have about 3,000 to 4,000 mobile phone batteries. Well, this is the Mahindra E2O, which is powered by lithium-ion batteries that in conjunction with an AC induction motor, which is also in the Tesla, can actually churn out a torque of 53 Newton meter and power of 19 kilowatt. Now looking at the aggressive design, the way it sort of fishtails, you would have obviously found out that this is a two-door car. Well, yes, this, the two doors at the back could be a critical omission, but not if. It is so easy to recline the seats in front and it's sort of, and you can just put your stuff into it. And get it back. So this is pretty easy and for people like myself who would actually probably be using just the two seats, the two front seats most of the time or in fact actually would be driving it all by your own and I think this is a very very convenient car and also you can promise your parents some good trips around on the weekends. Step one is to press the start stop button here and then use the smart key to actually have the car sense your presence and the fact that you're going to start it now. Right, so we head off. I think the very good thing about this, which I am totally in love with, is the fact that it is absolutely silent. I cannot hear any noise at all, which is, I think, the big relief. After driving uh, a diesel-powered car, which uh, where the diesel clatter is absolutely killing, and there's so much of noise pollution that I don't want to even lower the volume of my uh, uh, of, of the music system. As opposed to that, I think this is totally a boom. Apart from the noise control levels and also the wacky electric technology that I'm talking about, uh, there's something else also which is absolutely brilliant about the car, which is that when you press the brakes, there's something called brake energy restoration system which actually comes into function. And there's also uh, on, on the liver, there's, there's uh, an alphabet which is B, which means boost. So it gives you an extra oomph whenever you need it. So which, what happens is that uh, the brake energy recuperation system that actually puts the power back on the wheels and gives you that added oomph. I just want to begin by asking you what is your viewpoint on electric vehicles and how do you see India leading the space? Well, electric vehicles uh I think are ideal for India because of our stop and go driving, our slower speeds that we have in our city centers, the fact that we import our oil, um, the fact that we have an abundant availability of other energy sources. I think those features and high price of oil make it ideal for India. I also have to agree with Chetan Many, the founder of Mahindra Reva, when he says that India is a country which is absolutely fit for electric cars because we have so much of stop and go traffic. Now, which is absolutely right. Because when you have a lot of stop and go traffic, there is a lot of redundant fuel consumption. Whereas in here, you bring the car to a halt and the electric motor shuts off. So there is absolutely no wastage happening here. And it is not also a compromise on your range. Why should I be getting into electric vehicle and compromise on anything? That's where the real answer would come. And what I'm hoping is that there are enough people in India enough consumers in India who would think that I am without compromising making a contribution to the environment okay then I think it's going to take off very well and I truly believe truly believe the younger population in India has that mindset where they feel guilt about 
polluting. They feel guilt about consuming uh, uh, energy when they don't need to. And I would think that those people, when they say, yes, it's a good-looking vehicle, it is convenient, it does not, uh, it, it's, it's not sort of painful to drive it, uh, and therefore, why should I not? Uh, come and buy this vehicle. I think you'll find a lot of people who will be interested. So uh, today I feel very, very uh, optimistic about uh, what might happen, but time will tell. Now here's the million dollar question. The conventional internal combustion engine versus the Maverick electric motor. So well, will I trade this green for this green? The answer is a very certain yes. Well, essentially I travel about 20, 20 kilometers every day like I said and which is about 80 rupees a day and this has costed me about 5.85 lakh on road and this is about 5.96 lakhs on road but I'm not really talking just about the cost savings that I'll be making here but also the fact that I want to put my money where my mouth is yes the ecological benefits of this car